Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Xcode and develop iOS apps on Windows. So first we're going to head over to a site called Mac in Cloud. And this website is a place where you can rent an online MacBook. So we can basically go to pricing and compare plans. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to sign up for the $20 a month. So go ahead and click sign up. So when you click sign up, you're going to have a couple of different options here. I'm going to leave number of user accounts at one. I'm going to keep it at Mac Mini Classic. That'll be good enough for us. Uh, near Los Angeles because that's near me. We'll do new and payment cycle will do monthly and I'll just select the lowest one here. So add-ons, we don't need any of these. I'm going to leave those default. Go next. Here you're going to fill out your contact information and then once you're done with that, hit next. It's going to be 20 bucks plus a dollar to set up. Yeah, you can hit accept, accept, and then you're going to hit subscribe. It's going to process your payment. All right, so once you pay, um, you should go check your email. Your email will look something like this and you have to wait about 15 minutes so then you'll receive your Mac login. So then uh, you'll get another email like this. It'll have your server information, um, a bunch of instructions. Go ahead and download the zip file from the email. Once you unzipped it, you'll see something like this. And then now we can click uh, Mac and Cloud pop-up 1920 by 1080 RDP. Double click that. Go ahead and hit connect. Um, and then you put in your username and password, which uh, was in the email given to you previously and then once you put that in um, you'll be you'll see this authenticating screen and it goes to initializing i'm gonna skip forward the video a bit until you're logged in and now you have your remote macbook and the thing with mac and cloud is that it comes pre-installed with a bunch of things that you'll need for ios development so xcode is right here so we can click that and we yeah we can create a new xcode project you know single view application name it Windows, yay, wherever you want, company, create that. I'm just gonna slap it on the desktop. And then we can get Command R, see if we can run it, build succeeded, and it'll launch your simulator up. Yeah, now we can start developing on this remote Mac just as we would on a local Mac. And that's how you develop iOS apps on Windows. Um, this is a blank screen, but obviously we can go to the main storyboard here, pop that up. We're gonna add a label just so I can see. To show you that it works just just the same change this to I don't know just bump this font up to like 70 say this is a Windows and you can hit play again stop and rerun build succeeded and now you'll see the magic of Windows. Um, so basically anything you can do on a Mac, you can now do on this remote Mac that you rent online. So that's the best way to develop for Windows. You can also build a virtual machine on your actual Windows computer and then load it uh, remotely there. But it's a lot of work and honestly for like 20 bucks a month, I think this is the best way to go. I'll also link down my full blog write up and you can choose different providers there and see some of the other different ways that you can uh, develop iOS apps on Windows. Thanks for watching.